Hi guys, I'm Dave. Welcome to Beer Virtually. So today we have something different from Dogfish Head. We have the Dogfish Head Syracusa Nera. This is an oak aged, oak aged stout. Um, I've mentioned before that I like complex beers and this one says it's complex. So let's see if it lives up to the note, to the, uh, to the hype. This is a stout. Pours very much like a stout. Minimal head. Um, the head that it does have is slightly creamy, but very thin. This smells really good. It smells like a little bit of oak, a little bit of red wine. All right, let's take the first sip. That's good. Some coffee flavors. Uh, a hint of dark chocolate. And I have a feeling, so I left this beer out for a little bit. So right now it's probably, I'm gonna guess 52 degree range, which is probably just about right. Maybe even a little warmer would be good. This beer is 10% ABV, and it is uh, 60 IBU. It does not taste like a 60. Um, it's not really bitter, but it's not really sweet either. This has, uh, I don't know if it's mixed with or it has Syrah grapes. Or Syrah wine that comes from Syrah grapes and it does have a bit of dark maybe even dried fruit almost like that prune flavor we got with um, one of the uni unibrew beers it, it's maybe cherries maybe dark cherries It's also not very heavy for a stout. It doesn't 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 really fill your mouth with that that heavy mouth feel. On the same hand, though, I don't know if you'd want to drink more than two, maybe three of these. I think you'd have your fill. Bottle's pretty cool, uh, pretty standard from Dogfish Head kind of a black and purple with a uh, cream writing on it pretty cool it does have the uh, the grapevine right on the label here I'll put a big I'll put a, a big picture up of the label very standard dog said I like their styling it's very simple but they definitely have their own look to their brand Now that I've had a few, I don't know, you know, about half this beer, it's definitely getting more of a, uh, that bitterness is coming through, that 60 IBU is starting to show a little bit. Just on, on, on the finish, it's a little more biting now that I've had a couple sips. Not in a bad way though. And also the, the Syrah flavor is coming through a little bit. It's almost like a, uh, it's a hint of grape jelly. This beer is going down pretty easy. The color is very, um, very just brown, like, like a cola. It's, fairly dark. I mean, I'm not, you can't really see through it. 
but it's not black. Eh, maybe it is black. But it pours, when it pours, you can definitely tell it's, it's brownish. Doctor's Head just has their, the uh, shark logo on the cap. Nothing on the inside. The glass bottles are also stamped or molded with the, the shark in the oval logo, just like this. Very cool. Price wise, this is, how much was this price wise? $16.99 a four pack. So definitely not cheap. And at $16.99, I don't know if it's worth $16.99. Um, if you're splitting one with a friend and you do two for, what would that be, $8.50? That might be good. I mean, you would pay 8 bucks or so for this beer out anyway. I mean, I would guess that would be the range they would sell it for. So, it's half price to drink it at home. That's... Well, guys, I got a lot of uh, cool beers in the fridge to drink coming up soon. If you enjoyed this episode, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And until next time, cheers.